Hi, this is Marcy White at Copley Acupuncture. I wanted to discuss placenta previa today. The word previa means first, so the translation of placenta first indicates that the placenta, which is normally at the top of the uterus, is at the bottom of the uterus at the opening where the baby is supposed to exit during labor. Now this is a quite common condition. It happens in about 30% of pregnancies and typically it's noticed around 18 to 20 weeks gestation. There is a very high percentage rate, about 90% of women where the placenta will go from the bottom um, to the top of the uterus where it is supposed to be, but there are some very, very rare cases where this doesn't happen, and it's really about less than 1% that need medical intervention. But we often see this in acupuncture. We have very concerned um, expectant mothers because one of the issues with the placenta previa, because the placenta is down at the bottom where the baby would be exiting from uh, the vaginal canal, is that that placenta is there and it can put pressure on some vascularities and cause bleeding. So around mid-pregnancy, uh, around 18 to 20 weeks, some women suddenly get this spontaneous um, red bleeding and it can be quite sufficient, but there is no pain, but it often leads to an emergency room visit, a lot of concern and worry, um, and then even though this may resolve by 32 weeks, it's still something that's on your mind and it, it's hard to stop thinking about it. So a lot of women will seek out Chinese medicine. I just had a patient come in yesterday and we had a long discussion about this and what we could do in Asian medicine. So the Asian medical theory about placenta previa is that it has to do with the energy of the spleen. And this sounds a little odd, but the spleen in Asian medicine theory is responsible for the elevation of things. So it helps to hold the implantation when you're trying to conceive. It helps elevate and bring things up in the body and prevents things from coming out and down of the body that we don't want to. So say for instance, you're having hemorrhoids or you have some kind of a prolapse of your uterus or your bladder. It's called spleen sinking. And so what we have to do in Asian medicine is support spleen energy. And we do that a number of ways. One is through diet. And we highly recommend when you are pregnant in general, but especially if you have this sinking uh, effect happening with the spleen and the placenta previa that you're eating a lot of nourishing and especially warm temperature foods. Cold foods um, are thought to be slowing down blood flow and contributing to the problem. So eating your foods cooked at a low heat uh, for long periods of time imparts a lot of warmth into food and just generally trying to avoid iced and cold foods. There are some really amazing herbal formulas. There's one in particular I'm not going to mention here, but if you are interested and you have this condition, I would consult with an herbalist. There is a famous herbal formula that helps with this exact problem of spleen chi sinking um, and placenta previa. In my previous video on moxibustion for turning a breech baby, I highly recommend you watch that video to see how to use this. We would use um, what's called a moxipole. This is an herb shaped into a cigar form. And there's an acupuncture point on the top of the head called governing vessel 20. And in the previous video, you'll see how to use the moxa, but you can place that uh, close to the head. You don't want to touch, but you want to keep it so it's nice and warm. And that helps with the ascending energy in the pelvic region. So um, this is something we instruct you on how to do when you come in for an appointment. And then we can also do acupuncture. But this is a, an, an issue that can be very concerning again and frightening when it happens. Um, but it has a very, very low chance of this actually becoming problematic and we can do some things to help. So if you do get this diagnosis, I would highly recommend consulting with an acupuncturist, an herbalist, and make some dietary changes. And then typically by 32 weeks, most women are doing okay, but we can absolutely assist you with that. Thank you for watching.